In this video, I'm bringing you the everything new about Midjourney version 5.2 to create stunning, ultra-realistic AI photos with Midjourney in minutes. You will explore new zoom out feature in detail and learn how to use it step by step with some incredible examples. We will compare some of my prompts between version 5.1 and 5.2 to see the changes new version brings. You will master everything related to version 5.2, including new strong and subtle variations, improved stylized and new weird parameter, optimized versions of ultimate prompt structures for cinematic and ultra-realistic photography. These are based on the new prompt analyzer and keywords ranked the highest by mid-journey to my semantic analysis. At the end of this video, I'll show you how to create consistent characters with same face in different backgrounds using custom zoom out and adding your own face or friends faces to your mid-journey images. To start using version 5.2, go to Discord and write your prompt because this version has been set as default for all generations. If you want to double check that you can type slash settings and CMJ version 5.2 is selected as default. When we compare versions 5.1 and 5.2, mid same seats, images seems to be sharper and generally looks slightly better. Midjourney 5.2 has improved its natural language processing capabilities, resulting in a better understanding of user prompts. I can also note that version 5.2 is much better with reflecting lights and shadows on the subject, calculating light direction and it's a pleasure to use different lighting keywords especially for portrait photography. However problem with hands, holding complex objects like a katana or umbrella seems to continue. I hope this will be fixed with version 6 in the upcoming months. By far the biggest change Midjourney V5 2 brings is new zoom out feature. With zoom out, you can extend the canvas of an image beyond its current boundaries. It resembles the generative fill feature of new Adobe Photoshop AI. This feature allows you to zoom out, modify aspect ratios, and even tweak prompts while zooming. The zoom out buttons are now available on all upscales, enabling you to reframe the image and explore new dimensions. You can use the zoom out one, 5x and zoom out 2x options to pull the camera out and fill in details on all sides. Additional to zoom out buttons for quick access, we have also custom zoom as part of the zoom out tool. Let's go through this step by step so it's clear for everyone. To custom zoom on an image, you need to first create one on Midjourney using an initial prompt. Once you type your prompt, Midjourney will now create a set of four images based on your prompt as always. Before you can custom zoom on an image, you'll need to upscale the preferred image from the generated results. On this upscaled image, click on custom zoom from the options that appear under the previewed image. You'll now see a dialog box appear on the screen where you'll be able to enter a custom value of zoom. As you can see in this box, the default zoom value is set as 2. I replace 2 with 1.7. Midjourney will now process your request and generate a set of four images using the zoom out tool in the same way it generated the original images for the initial prompt. Then you can upscale the zoomed out image. Unlike the zoom out one, 5x and 2x options, the custom zoom tool on Midjourney allows you to enter a different prompt when generating zoomed out versions of your original image. You can also specify your desired aspect ratio. Then Midjourney will add prompted elements to the scene while zooming out. And zoom out feature made it possible to create videos like this using Midjourney and Runway ML. Let me show you how. First start with a close-up or medium shot for your subject and after upscaling it use one. 5x zoom or custom one, 25x zoom for smoother transition. We will use this zoom multiple times until we have multiple layers. Then we will head over to the text to video tool called Runway ML and search for frame interpolation. This model allows you to upload your images to frame interpolation tool. Hit generate and it creates the infinite zoom effect in seconds. Now let's take a look at the new variations mod Midjourney 5.2 introduced. After you upscale your image you will see two options underneath it. Very and very you can see our original dog image here. Strong option makes significant modifications on the original image whereas subtle option makes small changes and stays more loyal to our original image. And remember, if you turn on remix mode from settings you can also update your prompt while creating variations. With Midjourney 5.2, stylize command now has a stronger impact on the style of your image. You can adjust the stylization level from stylize 0 to stylize 1000 as always. I made a whole video about this but stylize simply means how strong you want Midjourney's default aesthetics to be applied to your AI photos. It's essentially how Midjourney defines beautiful on its own way. I have tested out three different stylized values using same seat, 100, 500 and 1000. You can tell from the image results showcasing below, the lower the value, the more artsy and dreamy the vibe is, while the higher the value, the sharper and more realistic the images are. The default aesthetics of Midjourney lean more towards the realistic spectrum due to the nature of their training data. 
This leads to a greater sense of realism as the stylized value increases. The subject becomes more prominent, likely a result of the influence of training with portrait photos. The image becomes denser and details become more prominent. Conversely, background details become less prominent, creating a more bokeh-like effect. Mid Journey dropped a new experimental parameter called Weird. This command tweaks images to appear more unusual, eccentric or edgy. Combining Weird with stylized parameter can create intriguing results. It removes the element of perfect skins or perfectly proportional models from AI photos, making them closer to people we could see every day, therefore even more realistic. It's fun to experiment with it and occasionally it brings nice surprise results but I recommend to keep the value between 250 or maximum 500 because it gets too weird after that. And Mid Journey recommended to keep weird value and stylized values equal when we combine them together in the same prompt. Also they introduced Turbo Mode, which enhances image rendering speed by 4x for twice the price. It's nice that it synthesizes images fast but keep in mind that it costs more tokens. To use it add dash dash turbo to your prompts. Mid Journey v5.2 introduced a new command called Shorten. It analyzes your prompts and provides suggestions on words which are ranked higher by the Mid Journey algorithm, as well as words which have no impact. I'm particularly enthusiastic about the details view, which can be accessed by the show details button. This reveals precise metrics about how Mid Journey ranks your keywords, helping to eliminate words Mid Journey doesn't care and use word structures that Mid Journey consistently ranks higher. I fed 20 of my cinematic prompts to Mid Journey Prompt Analyzer and I copy plus pasted keyword analysis and ranking scores to ChatGPT, asking for the list of repeated keywords with highest ranking throughout multiple prompts. Analyzing the provided prompts, the repeated keywords with the highest ranking are here. You can see word cinematic ranks very high due to the reason that it generally mentioned at the beginning of my prompts. Additional to that keywords defining my subject, her or his costume or fashion details, shot type and camera name ranked quite high. High ranking keywords are also related to actions or the state of the characters, like standing, flying. This might reflect the dynamic or active nature of the scene. Keywords referring to specific settings or locations, such as on a boat, the city, hall, are ranked high. This might be because the location is a crucial part of the scene's context and narrative. I also asked ChatGPT to help me see some patterns among high-ranking words including impact of my syntax has on token weight. High-ranked words tend to be mentioned early in the prompt with exceptions but generally it seems mid-journey gives more weight to subject mentioned at the beginning of the prompt. Then for cinematic prompts, I combine syntax from describe and shorten to understand optimal mid-journey prompt structure and see what can we learn from them and formulate an optimal prompt using this analysis. Here, I remove words like still, captured by, directed by from my prompt because they just unnecessarily bloat my prompts considering elements like camera name and director name tend to be ranked high without these words. I mentioned critical elements of the image like keywords describing the scene, subject, action, location and fashion elements much early in the prompt to be sure that Mid Journey will give maximum ranking to them. When I wanted to use a fictional movie name, I used it with underscores. One problem I realize in the prompt analysis is sometimes Mid Journey separates some of the adjectives from nouns and we see adjectives get lower ranking in the word clusters. One way to prevent this is using underscores in the prompt. This way you can be sure that Mid Journey will take the whole cluster to consideration without separating them. Here is an example image using my cinematic prompt structure. When it comes to AI photography prompts I made few simple changes. Similar to cinematic images I recommend using subject, location and fashion very early in the prompt with word cinematic is now replaced with our choice of photography type which can be anything from portrait to landscape, wildlife, macro etc and I removed captured by from my prompt structure. For the rest of the elements, you can decide on your own how early to mention them based on your personal preferences. One of the most popular questions I get from Junglitos is how to create consistent characters throughout different images in the different scenes. With new zoom out feature we can finally do that. It's not perfect but definitely an improvement. Let me show you step by step. First create a portrait with soft black background using this prompt. After upscaling one of the images, click on custom zoom and rewrite the prompt with the aspect ratio you want. Here I'm writing tropical beach, change in aspect ratio to 16 to 9 and hit submit and here is the result. Here is another zoom out when she is in a supermarket. Now let me show you how you can add your own face or your friend's face to mid-journey images. I will use Henry Cavill's face as an example. 
First create your own server on Discord. To do that click on plus button here and add server. Click on for me and my friends. Name the server. Click create. You will see the icon of your server to the left. Next step is adding face swapper to your server. Go the link in description below and from this Discord link add this to your Discord server. Now go back to Meet Journey and to one of the newbies channels. Click on one of the Meet Journey bot messages in the channel. Click on add server. Choose your server from drop down menu and continue. Authorize and verify. Now go back to your new server. You will see both face swapper and meet journey bot is added to your server and you can use all of its features privately. Now we need a face to swap. To do that use slash save id command in your server. Upload a high quality photo of your face and be sure to not to have sunglasses. Name your image with something as simple as me. And fun starts. Create any image using imagine command with meet journey in your server. Upscale it. Once you are ready, drum rolls please. Right click three dots here on the meet journey image. Come down to apps and run INS. W -A -P -P -E -R, and here is Henry Cavill as Monopoly Man. Many of you junglitos asked me to include image prompts in the video. You can find all the images and their associated prompts in the Mid Journey AI Photography Style Guide. Look for version 5.2 prompts inside the guide which includes 50 images and their prompts optimized for the shortened 5.2 structure. If you found this tutorial helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more awesome content. If you want to learn more about creating AI art with Mid Journey and everything AI related click here.